no matter the product or platform, as consumers, there are features we've just come to expect competing companies to provide as a given. That's basic and stuff, Diaz. I laugh whenever Apple tries to present a feature Android users have had for years as something that's new. And we're not done yet. Streaming platforms aren't exempt from this. There are functions and features that we've just accepted as a standard for streaming, and I'm happy to share that StreamYard has finally added one that their competitors have had for a long time. They call it headlines. I got it like that. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at the headlines feature from StreamYard. So here we are on StreamYard.com. Let's go ahead and enter the studio. And now that we're in the studio, I'm going to add my camera to the screen. I'm going to go over here to the extreme right and hit the brand tab. So brand tabs here. That's where we are. I'm hitting that. And you'll notice right underneath the theme section, you have an option that says show display names, which you do have to turn on. And then you can enable headlines. You can see that that is, has that new icon next to it there. And if you hover your mouse, it'll actually tell you what the new feature does. Now that I've enabled headlines, you'll also see that I have my name, a display name here, and then you have a headline and your job title, social media handle or anything else. You can put anything you want in here. So I can get this, put this in the headline part. That's my digital card. And I can put my name or I can put my handle whatever you might want. And then now you can kind of see what that looks like on screen. And that headline and, and display name will change de depending on the theme that you choose. Right now we're on the bubble theme. We can switch it to classic and you can see what that looks like. You can switch it to minimal and you can see what that looks like. And there's a little bit of an animation that comes with it as well. Then there's block and you can see what that looks like. I still really like the bubble one and I probably will stick with this one, but you know, you have the option to choose whichever you want. Of course, the colors are determined by your brand color. So whatever you select in your brand color, that will be how your headline is displayed on screen. We're going to take one step back. However, we're going to leave the studio and we're going to go enter the studio one more time, but this time we're going to take a look at what it says when we enter the studio. So for those of you who have enabled headlines, your guests and you, you, you yourself as the host will see this option, optional headline here when you're entering. So you can actually change this when you're entering the studio so that it's already set and ready to go. To be clear, if you hit the three dots, you can also edit the name and headline for yourself and for your guests if you want to make that easier for them as well. So that, in a nutshell, is the feature. One of the things I, I thought was interesting is that while they have added headlines uh, that gives us that stacked two layer in our banner section, however, we don't have stacked or, you know, layered uh, banners. So just one level of our banners. And that's some of the features uh, that we have seen from other platforms, Restream and EVMux, just to name a few, have that headlines look feature uh, for both banners and for your name. So uh, we're ha while we're thankful for this feature, StreamYard, you could also add it to banners as well. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think. We can do better. There are many ways we can add this added screen real estate for our live shows and use them for our guests, maybe a link or even a social media handle. Let me know in the comments how you intend to use it. I find it interesting that StreamYard didn't make a big announcement about this one. And we're not done yet. There was no slow rollout. There's no social media post. I mean, I literally logged in one day and there was a pop up saying this new feature was available. That works. Given the fact that many others already have this feature and more, I think the way they handled it was appropriate. It's classy. What are some other features your favorite streaming platform should have that they don't? Let's hash it out in the comments. Learn more StreamYard functions, features, tips, tricks, and best practices from these videos.